Hello, I am Ragnarok, and welcome to The Reckoning. So today we are going to go over the sub-faction quest for the Cold Embrace. Um, so recently uh, we went over the quest uh, that you had to do for the Felgarth to basically the steps you had to finish in order to join one of the Felgarth's two sub-factions. Now this is a little different. The Cold Embrace actually has a different quest depending on which sub-faction you pick. So we're going to go over both of them in this video. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are at the Cold Embrace uh, room in the Faction Hall. Um, if you're not familiar with the Faction Hall, where you would choose the Cold Embrace as your faction, uh, we have a beginner faction uh, guide, so definitely check that out. That goes over all the steps on how to become a faction and all that stuff. Uh, and we have showcase videos for all the factions also, if you're interested in that and you're not sure what faction to pick. But, however, so basically the first step you need to uh, accomplish in order to become one of the Cold Embrace's sub-factions is, yep, you have to become... The cold embrace so you come here you get your cold embrace you're good to go the next requirement would be you have to be level 80 so you cannot get the cold embraces sub faction quest until you are level 80. once you have accomplished both those things you are ready to go so we come to the fashion hall and right here is the cold embraces portal we're gonna go through it and here we are at the cold embrace uh the cold embraces uh sanctuary so we're going to run through it real quick, take a look. I love the sanctuary. It's amazing. And for the sake of the first part of this video, we are going to go to the right. When we hit this little four-way. And this is the Sanguises unit room, or whatever. Uh, basically, it's this This is their uh, area of the sanctuary. This is all the Cold Embrace units. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over here and talk to Lady Irenea. There is something I need you to take care of. Lord Gorthorn has brought in a new shipment from the island. Crates of liquid <laughs> death. I guess the experiment wasn't a failure after all. <laughs> Unfortunately, my brother is here to put an end to what Gorthorn has accomplished. He just can't accept the fact that he is no longer superior. I'll take care of a diversion while you meet up with Gorthorn. He has set up camp somewhere in the east. Find him. He'll give you what you need. And there we go. So our quest is the Alarican Plague. Um, Lady Irenea has ordered you to meet up with Lord Gorthon in the southwest of the unnamed city. Reward the Sanguis unit. All right. So we got our quest, and let's go complete it. Okay, so next we need to travel to the unnamed city. We are over here in the southwest region, as I said, and you need to go to Gorthorn's camp. So it's right here in this little ridge. It's right near the between the middle pillar and the pillar right below it. Um, and you'll see this nice little camp. You can actually see it from pretty far, even when it's really dark in the unnamed city, because it's surrounded by these camps, and you get this red light, too. The red light usually sticks out for me. Um, but be careful, because this is the Cold Embrace's legendary camp, or, well, the Cold Embrace camp, actually. It's, there's no really legendary, non-legendary currently. Um, but it is jam-packed full. Uh, it's not a crazy camp, but it is definitely difficult. You have a lot of Sanguis units in it now, because now there are Sanguis uh, uh, people that actually spawn in the world. You can get some really high-level ones. You get the Sorceress over here. Um, we've got this kit. We actually have a video that goes over all the the new AOC faction camps, their locations, all that. But basically, just be careful. There's a lot of people in here. You get some higher-level um, NPCs and stuff like that. But what you're looking for right here is this one, Lord Gorthorn. Now, you probably will have to clear this camp in order to do this. But... Once you're done, you come over, you talk to him. Ah, you must be the one she sent. I am Lord Gorthorn, a forever servant of the Amarius family. You came just in time. I finished the preparations needed. The Alarican will devour everything. <laughs> And there you go. I was waiting for that. So now we have Quest Larkin. You have received a crate filled with bottles of Larkin Plague. Uh, take the, take these back to Lady Aranea. Okay, so once you got the Larkin Plague from Lord Gorthorn, you come back, talk to Lady Aranea again. Uh, perfect. These bottles will give us an unimaginable advantage. If any of the Empire's Knights come after you, lace your blade with the Larkin. A few cuts should be enough to turn them into a decaying corpse. 
And there we go. Now what you would do is you would come to the statue, you click on it, you hit yes, and now you've joined the Sanguis unit. So we'll come over here. If you don't have the patience, you go to feats. But most importantly, if you're not a girl, you have nothing to do here. And I'll let her finish. There you go. You come to the religious tab, and right where your cold embrace is, you have your sanguis unit right here. So here's all your items you get. As and as you can see, it's actually a pretty hefty amount they actually get. Um, and then at level 120, they also unlock their elite variants. So there's elite variants of the armor and the weapons they get, or at least some of the weapons they get, um, which is really good. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what these items are, what these armors look like, and all that fun stuff, uh, we do have a show showcase video showing all everything that the Sanguis unit gets as far as uh, the items, the armors, what the uh, special items that you get do, what the stations do, and all that stuff. So definitely check that out if you're interested in seeing more of the Sanguis unit. Okay, and the last thing to say, uh, be said about the Sanguis unit before I move over to the next one is that, uh, and I might have forgot to mention this, but I do mention this in the showcase video, um, is in order to join the Sanguis unit, you do have to be a female. You cannot be a male and join them. Uh, that was done mainly because there is a lore that's based around the Age of Calamitous, um, and within the lore, it's a female-only unit. Uh, so that's they decided to keep it that way. So just to let you know, if you have a male tune, you're not going to be able to join that faction or sub-faction. Um, so now we're going to go over the Knights of the Empress, or the Empress Knights. I always forget which way it is, but either way. So instead of taking the right, you're going to take the left. Go into this nice room. We can see some of the stuff that the Knights of the Empress have. And what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to Lord Anarius, and you're going to talk to him. I have a task for you. It's quite urgent. Aranaeus seems to be up to something nefarious. Knowing my sister, she has a tendency to cause more harm to our order than to fight for it. You know Lord Gawthorn, I presume? The mad old fool who is still somehow protected by his rank. Funny, isn't it? How easy it is to cause a ripple effect that can dissolve an entire union from within. That said, I need you to track down a Van Gul who goes by the name Sarod the Heinous. Apparently, Arane and Gawthorn are using this poor creature for one of their experiments. Kill it, and bring me proof of his demise. I'll handle whatever comes next. Okay, so now we have the heinous. Uh, Lord uh, Skier, Skyer, Anarius has ordered you to kill Sara the heinous. Uh, he was last seen in the unnamed city. Okay. So this is the subquest or the uh, the quest for the Knights of the Empress. Okay, so we are right here on the map. So the best way I always remember it is if you have if you make you have this nice little line here, you have another line right here as you can see, you have this like box with a straight line and then this little end and it kind of looks like a little straight line. It's the second line and then you're pretty much right on level with the end of this one. So you kind of make like you can kind of make an L if you want. Just go straight out. Um, and that's where you will find Sorod. Now, he used to be, um, I believe, I think I might have showed this in the video before, but he used to be over here in the desert. Uh, it was just like one, and he was surrounded by maybe like two Van Gulls. Now he's in the unnamed city. Again, he's right here on this line. And the best way to tell it's him, not only is the crazy hammer and the awesome helmet that would be awesome if we eventually saw like uh added to like the van Gogh. that'd be a really cool helmet um but he's surrounded by a bunch of scourge van Gogh. so uh just be aware that this is going to be one of those fights again now you could just basically focus on him get him you know try to kill him and be good to go uh and then once you get the item from him bounce out before you have to actually get these but yeah it's not, again, it's kind of like the other one. It's not crazy hard. It's definitely not something you do early game. But by the time you're doing this, these sub-faction quests, uh, it shouldn't be too bad. But either way, you kill him. There we go. He's dead. He does give off the Alarican Plague, so just be aware of that. You might want to wait till that clears out. Either way, when he dies, he drops the Heart of Saurad. I'm just going to take that leave all the rest of this stuff behind. Okay, so now I am back here at the sub-faction hall in the Knights of the Empress's room. We have the Heart of Saurad in our possession. We're going to talk to Lord Anarius again. And so, yet another Vangu falls to her insane schemes. If she could only realize what an asset those creatures could be for us. Alas, her selfish pursuits stand in the way of that. Anyway, enough said. 
You've done good. And there we are. So it is the Knights of the Empress, which is what I thought. I just couldn't remember if it's the Empress Knights or the. But I always say it either way, so it doesn't really matter. Either way, say okay. Go to the statue. Ah, hit this. You're the one who took down hit Sarlacc. yes. Forgive me. And now we've joined the Knights of the name. Empress. We'll go into feats. We'll go into religion. I actually like the dialogues that go on with these sub factions. It actually it's pretty interesting. I love the fact that we got some voice dialogues added to the game, so that's great. Um, so right here we have the Knights of the Empress. Here's all the cool stuff they get. They do get a lot of good stuff. Um, and then if you go to their level 120 feats, again, they get even more stuff. They do have elite variants of weapons. And uh, uniquely, they have a bunch of weapons that are you can only get at level 124 this sub faction so it's pretty cool again we have a showcase for the knights of, or the knights of the empress also so definitely check out the video if you want to see all this stuff what it looks like what it does its stats and all that fun stuff so uh check out that video otherwise and the other thing about the knights of the empress is you can be male or female as you can see we're male to our female tune uh and we can we actually just join them so uh the knights of the empress is not gender locked whereas the sanguis unit is gender locked to a female only Okay, so that was covering the cold or the cold embraces uh, sub factions quest for both Sanguis unit and the Knights of the Empress. Hopefully, it helps out. I know a lot of people have been asking where Sarad is, where's Gorthorn. Uh, so hopefully, this helps. Um, you know, I just knew a lot of changes were coming to the Age of Calamus and didn't want to do anything until I knew what those changes were. So now that we know they move locations, we were able to show the actual locations. Um, and uh, still working on the Magic series. We have a lot of new videos coming out soon. So definitely hit the subscribe button so you get notified when those hit. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get all the Magic videos out still. There's a lot of stuff to rework. Those videos did take a while. So they're taking a while again to remake. Um, but we are covering them. We do have a couple of them out so far. So definitely check out those videos. Um, and like I said, just hit the subscribe button so you get notified when the next of any of our tutorials come out and showcases. So we got a bunch more planned and currently in the works. Um, also... If you're uh, interested and if you're looking for a server to play on or just interested in a cool amount of people to uh, hang out with, definitely check out our link in the description below for the our Discord. Great community. Awesome community. Um, it's been up and running for a very long time. Uh, we'll also, check us out on Twitch when we stream. Dropping videos all the time. I uh, want to give a huge shout out to our patrons and our elite patrons. Thank you so much for everything you all do. Um, if you are interested in becoming one of the patrons, definitely check out the link below. Uh, they get a lot of uh, exclusive content and... Uh, early access to videos and stuff like that so definitely check that out if you're interested otherwise i really do appreciate you all thank you so much like i said give a thumbs up leave a comment uh, i do check the comments uh if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to leave them otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video and as always fear the reckoning